Throughout this series, you will follow me across the United States on foot, attempting to break the world record by crossing in only 40 days. Got to run across the United States. Uh, LA, 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 here, over there, Come baby. behind the scenes and see everything it takes to run 3,000 miles straight. Crew, nutrition, recovery, and more. I'm Paul Johnson, and this is the Transcon. Five hundred miles. We have gone in forty-one days, twenty-two hours, thirty minutes. Twenty-five hundred miles. So, yeah, we're not getting to New York in the next seven hours. So, Pete, your record is safe. Don't worry. We knew that a while ago. But uh, yeah, five hundred miles to go to New York, and I think we have two, two and a half days left in Ohio. So, let's go. How's it going, man? Appreciate you coming out. Hey guys, I'm sure. Hey man, good morning. Yeah, don't let me stop your progress. Uh, no, they're switching drivers. Okay, so good. Like, good. We're here for like three minutes. So that's about it. The light at the very end of the tunnel, man. Pennsylvania, the motherland. We're back. Ohio's cool. Was it the best? Ohio was the best. Okay. Although I did have to run for 1.3 miles by myself in the entire stage. So I'm a little disappointed in Ohio, but they did escort me to the line here. We got like a mile less to the break. And then we do a new state dance. So get ready, buckle up. So I have three poles right now because one of them is smoked. Um, so we're switching tips. I got some spares. Uh, basically, we were hiking up the hill. There's about 15 of us here, including a bunch of kids from a local cross country team. And in this five foot shoulder we're in, some large size pickup truck decided to come into the five foot shoulder and despite how much I waved my pole to try to get his attention uh, he was like two feet over the line and the whole entire group of us had to kind of jump to the left and he caught my pole so now I have a broken pole and he just kept driving he didn't even think twice he sped out of there so texting and driving no bueno um, and if you think I go out of my way to hit cars, I've got 15 witnesses that will tell you we just lost a $130 pole to keep us all alive. So keep running with poles. And we're going to order a new set now because I don't have any more spares. One week out, six days, still here in Pennsylvania, less than 400 miles to go. Everyone's getting anxious for this thing to end, just trying to stay focused and make it to New York in one piece. Paul, how are we feeling on these hills? I like gravity going down. State College. We just rolled through campus all the way down Atherton Street. The crew got lost. I knew where I was going because I had the map. We got a large group here. Bunch of students. We got some ROTC. We got the whole squad. We got three, four more miles to go for the day. And then we're just gonna hang out in town. So, in Penn State tradition, we are Penn State! Penn State! So 
So it is currently 5.40 in the morning on day 50. Uh, it has been a long few weeks on the road. It's been a good few weeks on the road. Today's our last day in Pennsylvania. As we wind down today, we will be crossing into New Jersey, which is very exciting. Um, it's the last state that we have to get through before we hit the finish line in New York. Paul's feeling good, crew's feeling good, everyone's fired up. Good day to be on the Transcon. New Jersey, you can't even pump your own gas here. Cheap gas, you don't gotta pump it. I'm ready for all the jerks in town that are gonna hate me. We already clogged up the road for two hours. Um, one state left, the only thing left to do is uh, dance. Delaware River. Um, day and a half left, I guess. Two days from here, so almost there. Day 51 is complete. Tomorrow, 6.30 a.m., we start our final, final marathon. Yeah, that's all we have. We have a marathon left to end this thing in Times Square. In less than 19 hours, in less than 18, 19 hours, we will be completely finished with the run. It's honestly turned into a pretty wild finish. Been working with NYPD. They're giving us a entire setup of what basically they've called a presidential escort. They've got cruisers, they've got motorcycles, they have mopeds. I didn't know NYPD had mopeds. They're basically shutting down every cross street along the way with their cruisers. They've got NYPD running club coming out of support. There's going to be uh, helicopter support from NYPD. So it's pretty, pretty insane what they're doing. They're practically shutting down all of Manhattan for us, which has never really been done before, ever, except for maybe an actual resident moving but probably not for hour and a half two hours that we're gonna spend doing it um, I think the closest thing you get to this is like New York City Marathon this is the New York City Marathon we're just out here running and anybody can literally come join it's completely unsanctioned so it's pretty dope Yeah, you probably only saw about 10%, maybe 8%, 6.9%, nice, of everything that took place on the Transcon. Of that 6.9%, that's only like 50%. Like we only filmed like 50% of this thing, you only got to see 6.9% of that 50%. So there's so much more to the Transcon that we just don't have time to show on YouTube. But the good news is, we're gonna be sharing a lot more that you didn't get to see in YouTube. This fall, we will be releasing a documentary about the Transcon, and it's not your typical documentary, I can promise you that. We're gonna have a couple premieres. The fundraising for Team RWB does not stop. Um, we are going to reach a million dollars. We have definitely been successful in the awareness of mental health. That mission continues a bit. There will be some focus on the Team RWB fundraising. Uh, YouTube is not ending. We've got plans for more content there, so continue to subscribe and follow along to see what we have planned for the rest of the year and beyond. Maybe you'll get to see a quick shot of the finish line and uh, getting ready to head into New York City. But if you weren't here for the hype of New York City or the live stream or anything else, and even if you were, you're gonna wanna see some of that ending footage, which will definitely be released within the doc. So stay tuned for this fall. Thank you for all your support. Thank you to everyone who came out and ran with us. Thank you to everyone who gave us a hot meal and a hot shower that came and ran with us, supported us within the communities, SK Security, all the local fire and police departments, NYPD that just made this experience 
It's so incredible. We appreciate it, and we'll see you guys soon. Personally, I deal with a number of issues. Anxiety, depression, sleep issues and nightmares, self-harm and cutting. And I didn't really deal with them in the greatest way until I got into running. Running is the release. It gives me a chance to just let go and feel at peace like a meditation. It's my greatest coping mechanism. I'm doing it for the mental health awareness and trying to fundraise a million dollars for Team Red, White, and Blue. Why not go big? We're already doing it, which is insane because it's three marathons a day, but why not?